opportunity, and Abercrombie took it away. The timing's really off. Brian Miner operating baseline. Barnes passed up the three. Wingfield, too strong for Rencher. Well, I don't know what you can say about it, you know. You There's just, not much that man can no, do about no, it. No, no. He's gotten away from Tom a little bit. His players have not played the way a normal Texas team plays. Remember, 7.15 left to go first half. Texas had a 13-point, 30-17 to 17 lead over Oklahoma. And the Sooners were on the verge of getting run out of here. It turned quickly from there. Well, it sure did. In Fowler in close. The littlest guy on the floor. He goes to the hole and powers in the basket. Eight for Prince Fowler. Now, they list him at 5'10 or 11. He's not even more than 5'7. And he can play. Perryman. And he's going to run this down. No, he doesn't have to. Perryman trying to get it back to Roderick Anderson. Anderson cut the other way, and Perryman threw it away. You don't think One of those Oklahoma days. people are going to have fun with this little guard before he gets done here? No question. Out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Prince Fowler, Western High School, considered to be one of the top 40 players of the nation coming out last year. A parade All-America. Wingfield leaves for Texas. Dixon back on for the Longhorns. Here's a steal by Rencher, but he slipped a bit as he took it down the sidelines. Just a thought, Wayne, but if you've got good uh, one, twos, and threes in the game of basketball, point guard, off guard, wingman, you can play with about anybody. If your one, twos, and threes are good, you'll play with just about anybody in the country. 20 turnovers, though, now for Texas to 14 for Oklahoma. 25 points off turnovers by Oklahoma. Bad place to pick up your dribble. Got away with it. Good ball movement again, and Hammer Crombie finishes. Same old guy finishing inside. Freeman for three. Basket by number 32. He just left Freeman. him wide open that time. He had to take the shot. Hunches tied up and the jump ball. The uh, alternating possession, the arrow pointing in the direction of Oklahoma. Don't forget, coming up on two weeks on Sunday, February 5th, a big day college basketball. Don't forget, in this region, you'll be seeing Oklahoma and Nebraska. Nationally ranked Nebraska. Elsewhere, Marquette, Cincinnati, Memphis, and Temple. And an important, impressive women's matchup, Virginia, North Carolina. All coming up live, 1.30 Eastern Time. Wayne Larrabee, Steve Yoder, Lloyd Noble Center. Norman, Oklahoma. Sooners winning big. Minor off-balance shot. Freeman gets the rebound. They want to find Freeman now. They got a guy inside. Converted. Simpson unable to finish. That's it. Here comes Fowler. Now, what are you going to do? You don't have the numbers, but what are you going to do? Need to get it back out. He got fouled in the corner. No reason for it. Foul is on Tommy Penders. Penders can't believe the foul's on him. This what did I do? I was just standing here. Third on Penders, nine on the team. He'll make that ten team foul on Texas. So it'll be a two-shot foul coming up here for Calvin Curry. I know most people thought by this time if Oklahoma had 85 points, Texas would probably have somewhere around the same number or 90. And they've done a great job out here defensively today, holding Texas to 62 points. You know, the point we were making about tempo and control of tempo, you said, that if they, you said if this game is in the 90s, Texas would probably have a good chance of winning. Well, this game is going to be in the 90s, but Oklahoma's playing at Texas pace, and Texas is playing at the pace we expected Oklahoma to be at. <laughs> Shows you how smart I yeah. am and how smart we are. <laughs> the best laid plans. Those are big free throws for Curry. Getting a little confidence back. He missed some three-point shots. Two at the line for Curry. Oklahoma leading big. Offensive foul. Terrence Rencher. Very good position that time by Anches on the baseline. That's four on Rencher. And Rencher, you know, he takes the ball in the basket. That's his game. And that's Roderick Anderson's game. Pressure in the backcourt per usual by Texas. 
This is not a move of desperation. Fowler, Abercrombie missed the jam. And Oklahoma reloads. Get a good shot. Good pressure, Texas. Freeman nearly triggered it loose. Crowd appreciating the Oklahoma effort here. Minor for three. Curry almost knifed in. Abercrombie finds Curry. Well, he's staying with it. He got it. Well, they just out hustled him all day on both ends in the paint. Oklahoma's been more aggressive. Tommy Penders has lost his shoe. Freeman misses from the outside. Inside Gilmore, and now they hold up the action. Nate Gilmore scores his first two points since early in the ball game, and Tommy Penders, they give him a shoe back. I didn't know Tommy was that quick. It came right out of his shoes, Coach. I'll tell you what, there's a good player. He can play for a lot of teams. 3.51 to go. Kelvin Sampson in Oklahoma winning big. They're fired up here in Norman for their 13-3, soon to be 14-3 Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma leading by 25. Oh, again, just excellent. To well, and they're doing that because orchestration against the press. They're using minor at the point to start all that. Kelvin Sampson has had his team really at they adjusted well in the second half against the Texas pressure. Some of the other scores around the country, Texas Tech coming on, winning big over SMU. Hurry with the scoop. Here's McIver. And he was fouled on the reach inside by Abercrombie. Ernie's third. Should be 19 fouls on Oklahoma. Yeah, Miner just made a good point. And Calvin's thinking the same thing. Calvin, I mean, he's thinking the same thing. It's just time to think if you're Oklahoma because the game's yours. Just move the ball, get good shots. You don't need that force play that Curry just made. Now they're doing a nice job. Now they want to use a little clock at the same time, get a good shot. But this game basically is over at this point. Rich McIver played his first two years up at Michigan under Steve Fisher and uh, was on that club when the Fab Five arrived. Yeah, and I remember seeing him up there and uh, came back to his home state. McIver makes good on a pair. He has four. Three Longhorns transferred back to Texas from out of state. Nice steal. Carlton Dixon, the freshman. He's going to be a good player. Oh, he really is. He's been kind of silent today, too. Fowler, and they break it across. Fowler lost control of the dribble that time. Good nice. save by Curry, but Freeman intercepts. Nice steal. He was really active. Dixon. Anderson from deep. He has not had the range on that three-point try. The Kyber's tip won't go. They just can't get anything back in the basket. It'll belong to Oklahoma. They had two chances to get it back in. It just couldn't get it done. But Oklahoma's right there scrapping with them. Melvin Sampson. These two teams will play each other twice a season coming up in the future when they join the Big 12. That's going to be quite a league. It'll be a heck of a league. I think it's going to help all those Southwest Conference schools. Anches. Curry for three. Well, He's not been able to Well, I think what he needs to do is get out of that corner. Move somewhere else. <laughs> get many shots out of that corner. Wrencher on the penetration. Abercrombie another rebound. Coming up on two minutes left to go in the game. Fowler for two. Minor found him. Double digits for Prince Fowler with ten. That's good ball move at that time. A lot of dribble here. Anderson was fouled. Foul. Prince Fowler picks it up. That is his third personal. Take a look at the North Division of the Big 12. That division's already strong, you see, with Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri. All those teams are from the Big 8 Conference. The South Division has the Southwest Conference flavor, and along with Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. Exactly. And Iowa State is a team to watch in that North Division. They're going to be good this year. Timmy Floyd will do a great job at Iowa State. Both teams in the Super Bonus. Rick Anderson has 13. 
What a great defensive effort today by Oklahoma. They got control of the game. They did a nice job. And uh, Texas could just never get on track after the early going. And just 16 turnovers for Oklahoma here today. Texas, remember, averages almost 25 turnovers forced per game.